G'day! In today's video I'm opening up and installing a Thermal Right Assassin X 120 Refined SE ARGB. Whew! That's a mouthful right there. So let's open it up and see what's in the box. And then after that I'm going to install this on a board with a Ryzen 5 7600. Now, the Thermal Right coolers seem to come out thick and fast with lots of them available in a whole bunch of slightly different varieties but enough to give them a different name and a different box. So right now single fan we have ARGB and we have a fan header we'll go into that a bit more later. We have their standard installation brackets which being an AM4 I'm going to be using or AM5 I'm going to be using these and these red ones here where the Intel ones are these blue ones and they also use this back bracket, which you can see for, depending on what socket you have. Here we have one of their ARGB fans. And swapped out to pretty much anything else. What do we have? 12 volt, 0 0.2 amp. And we have four pin wire to go to the board and standard three pin ARGB. Protection wise, it's not bad. Yeah, do make sure you do peel this off when you do actually install a GPU or G the CPU cooler on any of them. Yeah, it's a little bit light on, on the heat pipes compared to the compared to the Peerless Assassin that I'm used to seeing, or the Phantom Spirit. That's going to attach onto here. Yeah, I will install this a bit later. Right now. Looking perfectly fine. We'll leave it like that. Then we go here. I tend to locate these cables towards the top, so then they go up to where they need to. Yeah, we'll get that on there. We'll have a little bit of a look. I might be looking at thermals or temperatures, but we'll have a look how it looks installed, and I will cover any odd issues I come across during the installation. Spare pieces here. It's there. Now, this installation is if you're doing an AM5 build. Fairly similar if you're doing an AM4. These need to come off. Take them off. Brackets and our risers. So these go under here and push on. Now the back plate doesn't fall off on the AM5s. On the AM4s though, it very may very well will. Yeah, a matter of lining it up here, dropping the screw in, tightening it up. Now this is considerably easy to do when the board's out. Not so much when the board's in. So I like to put this CPU cooler on prior to putting it into the case. Save a whole bunch of dramas. Now next up is thermal paste. We use different paste than what's provided. Basically very similar stuff though. Some deep cool Z5. Spread it around and then spatula it around. From here. Maybe a little bit too much. Will ooze over the side, I suspect. So I'm just trying to put it in all the key spots. There we go. Now, do remember, take this off. If you leave that on, that's gonna definitely inhibit the cooling ability. 
by quite a lot. Tighten up a little bit on each side, just to make sure it is actually doing what it's meant to do. Okay, right now we're talking. I have to tighten up incrementally on, side, on each side to the point that it will eventually stop turning. When we stop turning, we're good. That's that. Now, next up is the fan. Now, I was originally going to put them facing that way, but if we all have it this way, because the ARGB header on this particular board is down the bottom and the fan header is up the top. So I'm just plugged in that fan header. Now I'll line it up here. Next up, these little doodads. So they go along the front just here, pull in like that and then latch around. Do the same on the other side. One, two, click, click. Now I'll slide it into this groove between the ram. There's just enough clearance to get down there. Make sure that fan head uh, cable doesn't snag. And then I just need to pull it around. It just kind of latches on. I just kind of pulled it. And it just sits in this groove along here. Pull it along, clip, and then you should be able to wobble it just slightly, maybe. No, that's on solid as a rock. So with that connected as well. Next up, what I need to do is actually, I could probably still run this up the top. We've got plenty of length. So before sticking that in, I wonder if I can do the tricky of running it underneath and behind the board and back up, like so. And then I can just plug in down the bottom here. There we go. So in this particular instance, there's enough cord on the fan header to snake it completely around the back of the board. You just have to be a bit careful when I'm Screwing that in, not to have it too close to a fan header. Well, no, the motherboard screws, like here, here, and here, just so I don't pinch it. But overall, it is one, it is one Assassin X120 redefined SE RGB installed thermal paste. That's good to go into a system. There we go. We're nice and installed. Those are just some cheap thermal take fans in this particular thermal take view 170 case. And the fan itself looks just fine. We look around the other side. Can't see much light shining through as we get light from that one. But it seems to be progressing or looking and going simply as it should. What kind of temperatures are we getting? Here we have the onboard radiant. At idle, 32 degrees. Idle in about 32 degrees right now. Considering it's currently about a 20 degree day, probably about 15, 18 degrees in this room right now, if not 20, that's not bad. By well, handling it just fine. Under load, I'm not too sure. But that just does give you a bit of a look on how it will look installed. And that will do for today, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.